And the similar story has happened in this game as well. Dave Kanal on strike. Ireland have put on a total of 174 runs. They were all out in 38.4 deliveries. Just one played one more delivery than the previous game. This time they managed to put on 174 runs. 175 will be the target in the next 299 deliveries. Dev Kanal currently on strike. Was the man who powered Nepal for that comfortable start in the previous game. They had, a, along with Arjun Kumal, had a partnership of 35 runs in 31 deliveries. And at that point, it looked like Nepal would go on to easily win the match. Oh, he's edged it. Second ball. He's gone. Hand gets the big wicket. Dave Kanal, this time, not being able to add any runs to the total. He goes for a duck. Nepal still to open their score. Arjun Shout could only stand there in the non strikers end and look at that. Dave Kanal, he will be disappointed. It's the third delivery of the over. The first over, and he goes for a duck. Nepal, zero for one. Catch the big offer from Dish Home Fiber Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, or 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discount. Sat my free 5G router. My health and fitness is a big deal. Healthy food is a big deal. In the suit, there is a big deal. 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 A premium product of Nebico. Powered by DHA. Shoot the chat. So Bata comes into the center. That's really quick. Fion hand. He's a fighter. He is a very strong fighter. And if you think this man is done and dusted only because 174 has been posted on the board by Ireland, you might be wrong because Nepal could not chase a dismal total of 157 in the first one day. Narin Bhatta guides one down towards the third. First runs for Nepal on the board. They're already at a spot of bother. Let's have a look at this in the replay. Easy catch for second slip. He was there. Deep Kanal. Was speechless. Just missed for a duck. The under 19 captain of Nepal and Fion Hand. He is excited. Again, testing. Outs in south outside the off stump. First over done. One wicket for Ireland already. One for one. Catch. The big offer from Dish Home Fiber Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, or 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discounts at my free 5G router. Powered by DHA. Shoot the chat. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't get a book. 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 Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Nepal A one for one after one. 
Makati will bowl from the TU gate end. No, no, no. Beautifully bowled this. It was fairly successful, Makati, in the first of the three matches between Nepal A and Ireland Wolves. This is the second non official ODI. We're live from Kirtipur. And Nepal chasing this target of 175. They bowled well. But can they bat well? Can they replicate? And can they replicate good performance with the bat as well and chase this target? This is a wide delivery. So Narin Bata, a big opportunity for him. It came back in a little too much this time. Tempting, not in outside the off stump. We can drive well, not in water. But the ball is moving. McCarty is making the ball to go both the ways. The first two deliveries, they came back in. And this one had a hint of out away swinger. Liam McCarty bowled five overs, conceded 29 runs and picked up four wickets in the first unofficial ODI. And the wickets of Dev Kanal, Arjun Kumal, Arjun Saud and the captain Vinod Bandari. So four big wickets there in the first unofficial ODI for McCarty. Liam McCarty. Beautifully bowled again, again a hint of outswinger. Hasn't been a comfortable stay at the center, especially in this over for Narin Butter. Went for that expansive drive, did not connect at all, and lucky Narin Butter, no edge of it because the ball was moving. One wide and four good deliveries. Pulls it. Straight to Fionn hand. Will only be a single. So, Liam McCarthy had a wonderful time with the ball in the first unofficial ODI. He got four big wicket. He got Dev, Dev Kanal. Caught. He was batting really well, Dev Kanal. Scored 26 runs of only 22 balls. Four very, very stylish looking boundaries. And today he's been dismissed for a duck. Yeah. Ben White on your screen there. Oh. So only two runs off the second over takes the score to three for one. <laughs> Mere health ani fitness ko rashya healthy khana khano ek dami zaruri cha. Bihana suit ma niske pachi ek hi chuti bale ki. Desele sadai mere saath ma Navy ko sugar free digestive biscuit. A premium product of Navy ko. Powered by Diya. Chutte cha. Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. One has taken that wicket, that important wicket of Dev Kanal, who along with Shah Balam were the two batters who played. A decent knock, you'll have to say. They got the starts at least apart from them. The other batters could manage nothing in that first match.
Short and wide this time and caressed it really well. Found the gap to perfection. He penetrated the two fielders very, very well. That was hit hard as well. Wasn't a very good delivery. In fact, wasn't a good delivery at all. Was short, was wide and stylishly cut by Narin Vata. This time on the other side of the wicket, but straight to the fielder there. Narin Bhatta going after the bowler. Fion Hand has picked up his second. He cut one for the four, wanted to pull it as well. Did not try to keep it along the ground. Was uppish. And eventually a pretty easy catch there. Kate Carmichael, the second catch for him. Did not get out of the middle of the bat and this is an easy catch held by Kate Carmichael. So trouble for Nepal already, second down, not in Vata goes. Powered by DHA. Chutte chai. Ki lehi smala hai? Bahane baze. Ki saara aashe baabu. Tere liye book na na sakne gari chhati bari maya le dekhu. Tere chhati bari ko maya le matra pet bari nsa. Bhim saar ki. Has now this responsibility on his shoulders again. He is a senior member in the side, in this Nepal A team. Has got international experience as well. Was out cheaply in the previous match. Very wide this. Eight runs for two wickets. This match is not over by any stretch of imagination. 174 for 10. Island A, they lost all their 10 wickets and could manage only 174. Hoi being the highest scorer, along with a very good innings from Captain Rock. But the way it's going, 8 for 2, Ireland A, the Ireland Wolves, would be licking their fingers because this match can be won from here. Especially because the Nepali side, the experience, the lack of experience in this Nepal A side, they're getting their exposure. They're not very experienced. And if they can, if this man, if you're on hand, can go through this top order, game on. Well left eventually by Bhim Sarki. Two big wickets for hand. It was the previous dismissal. Narain coming into this game and going straight into the hands of the fielder, adding just six runs to that total. He's had a wonderful previous game, if you're on hand, but didn't get those wickets that he deserved. But now he's taken two. Now that's some positive mindset by the player. I love his attitude, uh, Avash. That's a worried Nepali dugout. He comes in, bowls in really hard. He has that rugby player kind of a build-up. We'll come back to that after 3, 8 for 2. Catch! Catch! The big offer from Dish Home Fibernet. Paul was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps for 300 Mbps per year. The subscription map, big discounts at my free 5G router. Powered by DXI. Keep this Valley Express. Wow! 50% off! Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Double Matcha Pack. Pound Horse Double Data. Validity na sa kinday gare ko hari kharid ma. Matra ru ek se pachas de kisiru. South and Sarki at the center. Right, right, right. 
was bowled very full. And Makadi, meanwhile, in the other end, is getting the ball to do the business. It's swinging both ways. Did trouble. Not in butter in the previous over. If Ireland Wolves win from here, that's the series for, the, for them. Lost against Nepal senior side, then won against them in uh, Nepal A in the G20 tournament. Went 2-1 to Ireland. They've already won one on official ODI. If they can win this match as well, it'll be certain that the trophy will would be going to Ireland. And meanwhile, for Nepal A, they would love to win today's match and make that final match the final of this contest. <laughs> Defended really well. Arjun South has got really good technique. He's got 150 for the senior side as well. He's got has played 12 matches. Hasn't been that kind of consistency that's required to be at the top. Has been in and out of the side. His club work has been fantastic. We've, we've been talking about it. He is easily the best keeper we have in Nepal. But that's not enough for him to get into the senior side. Well, we're talking about these two in particular, they need to have a good partnership at the moment. They have a good experience in their hand. Maybe something around 80, 90 runs, Sachin. Is that good enough? Well, Nepal desperately needs that, Avash. They need a partnership. They failed to do so. They were 35 for none in the previous match, chasing only 157, and then they were reeling for 90 for 8. A beautifully bold, massive appeal. It missed everything. It went through the bat and pad of Arjun South. The crowd getting excited. McCarthy actually wanted it. He's asking, is it the height? Let's have a look at this in the replay. That was most probably the height. I think the ball just went kissing the pad. That came back in real sharp and I think the umpire has got it right because the height would have taken the ball over the stumps. But look at the movement. It came in really, really sharply. Trying too much this time, Liam McCarthy. Well, what a over for this. For McCarthy. Five dot balls already. It's the wide. That won't bother, bother him. Oh, those cute smiles. They know they're on the giant screen. Again, a bit of movement. Only one run off that over. Another tight one from McCarthy. After four, nine for two. Yes, again, oh, did it carry? Did it carry? Pion Hand looks disappointed. He got that edge perfectly out of the bat of him, Sharky. This could have been a massive, massive wicket for the Ireland Wolves side. Did it carry? That's the question. The second slip was there. Oh, it did. It went into his hand, right hand, and then straight out of it. Wasn't an easy catch, but do you expect 
You sleep fielders to take it. What a bowler he is, Fionn Hand. Stephen Doini. He put in the dive. Did manage to get the ball inside his palm as well. It bounced out of his hand. So lucky survive here for Vim Sarki. This is good cricket. It's a lifeline for Bhim Sarki. Look at that again. Went all the way. Maybe because it was a bit low. Struck him in the palm. Not able to grab it by his fingers. That's Jason Dovini. And brilliant angle from our camera team as well. It's not an easy job, sport broadcasting. Maintaining that good length area, length, if you're on hand, he's got two wickets, should have been three. They're chasing 175. You wonder, they're chasing 200 in T20s and they're getting closer. And now all of a sudden they're chasing 157, 175. Completely different mindset. <coughs> oh well, something very interesting, Sachin. Ireland A were all out for all out in 38.3 deliveries in the previous game, and they were all out in 38.4 in this one. Split one ball extra. He's having a wonderful time. Last ball of the over for Fionn Hand. Has to bowl that again. They'll take a quick single. Good running. So two extra runs here for Nepal. It's been a tight start. Only one boundary conceded by the Ireland Wolves. This is a very, very wide ball. I was talking about Fionn Hand, Avash. He's very well built. He's got almost a rug rugby player kind of a build. The intensity is seen. A beautiful looking shot that played on the rise but could not pierce the gap. After five, two down for 12. Catch! Catch! The big offer from Dish Home 5 Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, or 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discount. Sat my free 5G router. Powered by DHA. Fit the channel. A brilliantly targeted short delivery this. This is Hidim. Arjun South went with the pull shot. Very well directed bouncer this. Liam Makhate is a tall man. Arjun South isn't. There's, I think, a bit of check of concussion it has hit him in the head probably yeah there's a concussion test the new rule if you're hit on the head there will be some inspection i think arjun is all right yeah i did hit him first on, the, on his shoulders and then straight into his helmet well, the head concussions are taken pretty seriously, not just in cricket, but different sports all around the world. He goes for the pull again. It has gone really high. Keeper getting underneath it. Oh, he's dropped it. He has dropped it. That's the Ireland World Wolves skipper. Neil Rock has dropped a setter. 
there could not have been an easier guess than this and the man has a pair of gloves as well it will be interesting to see in the replay but Arjun South has got a big lifeline let's have a look at this he got underneath it as well he has that glove oh he missed it completely Neil Rock would not want to look this in the replay. Liam McCarthy cannot believe it. He's having a smile at his captain. It's all happening here. Cuts it. This was again another chance. Oh, what's happening here? They're dropping catches every now and then. I think the fielders should have attacked the ball, and I think there was a chance of getting. Bhim Sarki out in this delivery. Well, Bhim has been dropped on zero by Doheny in second slip, and this time it was Arjun South dropped by the wicket keeper, Captain Neil Rock. And look at this again. Tom Mays this time, as you said, should have gone for that. The target is pretty low. When you look at the 50 overs they got to play. They have figured out that the Nepali batters are not very comfortable with short deliveries, especially with this kind of pace. They've used it to perfection. Beam was dropped by Dohini when he was just in. He was batting at zero. He's dropped in the second slip area. And then Arjun South was gifted a lifeline by the Iris wicketkeeper and the captain. Again, another well-directed short delivery. He is enjoying bowling at this moment, McCarthy. Pahal could have been 14 for 4 at the moment. With a stroke of luck this time in Nepali's favour. Two catches drop of two different players. That might be costly for Ireland A. The Nepali bowlers have done a wonderful job and it's for the bats bats batsmen now. Remember Sachin? In the last game, eight players were caught out for Nepal. At this time, he has played this shot really well. He's controlled the bounce superbly and also found the placement. Wonderful looking shot this by Arjun South. He's put in into a lot of pressure after six, 18 for two. Powered by DHA. Chutte Chai. Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. It was a very good looking shot this off the bat of Arjun South was uh, how did he control the bounce of that ball he almost played it from the level of his shoulders there tremendous technique this and he found the gap to perfection as well left shoulder and top hand no! They're balling a bit shorter. The Irish ballers. On hand already. Two wickets. Now into his fourth over. Ah, there you go. The tireless camera persons who bring us the every action of every second of this game. This time it's Beam Sarki. On the rise again. And he got past point. It's not a very big gap there. Slowly the Nepal A innings getting that momentum, much needed momentum. Oh, caressed it really well. Beautifully played. Didn't try to overhit it. Found the gap to perfection. 
Good comeback this again by Fionn Hand. He's using the short deliveries to perfection. One bounce for the over, says Ambayar. And good leave by Bhim Sarki. There's no point in rushing things. No risk to be taken. They, they must have learned their lesson from the previous game. This was the previous delivery. Not convincing this time. Now the question is, Nepal introduced spin really early in their bowling innings. When will Neil Rock go to one of his leg spinners? Beautiful view. Been here so many times, Sachin. Our childhood, since our childhood, sitting in those parapets, those areas to watch the game, see Nepal progress through the ranks. Now here we are. Just a check short, straight to the fielder. Seven gone, 23 for two. Catch the big offer from Dish Home 5 Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, or 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discounts at my free 5G router. Powered by DHA. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Tapai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni Surakshit Rakhi. Simit Sagar Matha. A slow delivery, very well executed. Bhim Sarki batting at seven. And Bhim Sarki, this is an opportunity for him as well. It's very easy to lose your side from the team because there's so much of competition now in the senior side. Bhim Sarki once had that opportunity, he was almost a regular member of the team still will be consider, considered as an important member, especially in the longer format of the game. He can also hit the ball big. He can change gears. Technically very correct and I'm not a big fan of categorizing players as T20 players and one day players. If a batter can strike big, if he's got good technique, I think he can play any format, that's what I believe and Arif Sheikh has proven my point. So much of talks about him being a 50 overs player and not a T20 player and then comes in and smacks a 50 of only 29 balls, strikes 93 important runs in almost no time. Shorter delivery this time again and this is sailing over the fence. Enough is enough says Bhim Sargi. He was kind of agitated by Consistent attack by bouncers. He goes on with this pull shot and gets his first six. What a time to hit that six. Two dot balls to start the over with. And now this maximum. Just look at that. Another shorter delivery. The Irish ball is trying to target that region. Let's pull that one. Look at the technique. The slight lift of the bat that helps it go all the way for a six. Proves my point again, isn't it, Beam Sarki? If I'm only a one-day batter, how can I strike a six of a pull shot? <laughs> full toss again and this is what he can do. Wasn't a good delivery by any stretch of imagination, but that required perfect placement and Bhim Sarki has done it perfectly. It's a delight to watch him play. So look at that, how confidently he struck that ball. It was like he knew where the baller is going to pitch that delivery. He took it. Brilliantly well, and as you were seeing, Sachin, I'd like to add to that. Just at the time when there was no the shortest format of the game, players like Sanjay Surya, the explosiveness of those batters. What do you consider them now? It's almost a requirement now, Abash. You have to have the ability to hit the ball big. I don't think players like Mohammad Kif or batters like Mohammad Kif, or for that matter, even Vivas Lakshman would have survived in the shortest format of the game, but they had some limitations with hitting. But if you see players like Bhim Sarki or Arif Sheikh for that matter, they have 
all kinds of shots in their handbook. And when that happens, you know, it's a bit frustrating when you're categorized as one format player. Look at the authority in that front foot defense. Beam Sarki batting at 17 of 19, 8 gone, 2 down for 33. Powered by DXR. Chutte Chakri. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Topai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni Surakshit Rapti. Cement Sagar Matha. Yogi Sa. Double Matcha Pack. Pound Horse Double Data. Validity na sa kinai gare ko hari kharid ma. Matra ru 150 de kisuru. So 10 runs off that previous over, Nepal slowly gaining the momentum, 33 for 2, 26 runs this partnership but Ireland have only themselves to blame because they have allowed a chance, in fact two chances to Bhim Sarki and one to Arjun South. Matthew Humphreys, he took five wickets in the previous match, he was very successful against the Nepali batters. Can he get some quick wickets for his team today? Well, it's on the note when we're talking about players being categorized into what sort of formats suits them well. Look at that view, wonderful. Kathmandu Valley surrounded by hills all around. You can see those planes flying all over. And Sachin, when we talk about this, this player that always comes to my mind, Ben Stokes, this kind of player that fits on all formats of the game. For me, he's the proper modern day cricketer. Really appreciate his, especially the approach he has to every game. He's won some big games, including the World Cup final instrumental role and that Ashes test. Appeal and go on. Humphreys is carrying on from where he left in the previous match. A wicket off the very second delivery. Arjun South already committed towards that front foot defense. The ball's turned. The ball did turn a bit. And a good take this from the keeper. Humphreys making the batsman come forward to play that shot. And I tell you who would be the most relieved man on the field right now, it will be Neil Rock. Was there an edge? Was there an edge? The finger was raised. Arjun South was very unhappy with the decision. We'll see that in the replay again. Arjun departs for 5, 33 for 3, Nepali. My health and fitness is a healthy food. It's a healthy food. Bihana suit man is kepachi. Eki chuti beliki. The sale is a day miru satma. Nebiko sugar free digestive biscuit. A premium product of Nebiko. Catch! Catch! The big offer from Dish Home 5 Net. Pound was 100 MVPS, 200 MVPS, or 300 MVPS. Go yearly subscription mat. Big discount. Satma free 5G router. Powered by DXA. Chute Chakri. So, Bashir Ahmed has been brought in by Captain Bandari. I wonder when he will come himself. 33 for 3 at a spot of border now. Bashir Ahmed threw his wicket away in the previous match. He was there. If he had given company to Shah Balam, Nepal would have won that match, which they eventually lost by 21 runs. And what has struck me about Humphreys is the length he's bowling at. He's a tall man, gives the ball a lot of air, a lot of loop. And then the length is full enough for the batter to be tempted to come and drive. But still can trouble the batters because he can generate bounds from there, just like the dismissal of Arjun South. Sweeps it. What a game he had in the previous bowl. Ten overs, three maidens, just given away 32 runs and picked up five wickets in that process. And as you said earlier, started 
with where he left from in the previous game. He is hungry for wickets. And this is this is one special reason why we love the A crickets. Everybody getting a chance. You try to make your mark to get into the senior team. That's what I was discussing with Andrew in the previous innings. Did it turn that much? Oh wow. Well, it did. Confusing not just the batsman, but also the player had slipped. This was that dismissal of Arjun South. Did it just kiss the gloves in the process? The first reaction did show the same. Arjun South. Look behind at the keeper. Oh, nice and taken. A very, very sharp catch to dismiss the settled Bim Sarki. And Humphreys is having a purple patch with the ball. Oh wow, four down for 34 now. Nepal in deep, deep trouble. Well, this one, he just gifted it to the field that slips. You don't play these kind of shots when the two players at slip. Just look at that. What a catch. What a catch. That was from Doheny. Big pardon, it was Peter Moore taking that catch. Doheny will be delighted. He goes for 17 of 21 deliveries. Nepal in some kind of trouble, 34 for 4. Catch! Catch! The big offer from Dish Home Fiber Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, or 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discounts at my free 5G router. Powered by Dieta. Chip Dieta. What are you doing? I'm not sure. 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 So Thomas will be brought balling from the T U get end. Got one over, went for nine in the previous match. No. Now Bashir Ahmed and Arif Sheikh Arif will be very instrumental if Nepal can get close to this target. Pinot Bandari yet to bat. The crowd getting a bit excited now. 34 for four. The struggle has continued for this young Nepali side. Well, the spinners have done a wonderful job. Now, well, to, if you compare Sachin, the end of 10 overs, Ireland were 39 for 5 and looks like the similar story for Nepali as well. Deja vu match this. It's like the previous. But in the previous Nepal got off to a good start. There was a 35 runs partnership of 31 deliveries for the opening pair. And Bashir Ahmed did get a start in the previous match. He was one of the culprits behind that defeat of Nepal with only 21 runs because he was said that he had to he had plenty of overs in hand. He could have just rotated the balls. He came down the track. There was a fielder there in the long on reason. He went and challenged that fielder and eventually he got held out. And since then, despite the heroics of Shah Alam, Nepal could not manage that menial total. Comes down the track again. He'll have to readjust his game. Remember, they're only chasing 175. Premeditated. He had come down before the baller actually went for a jump. And the Ireland Wolves, they would be looking to take Arif's wicket the most because he's been the man in form, especially in the T20 contest. Oh, 
So Thomas has started very smoothly. Five dot deliveries to start with. They required 141 runs. There are plenty of overs left. 40.1 overs. But the problem is the wicket section. Four down already. Well, it's different day, similar story. Talk about the innings. It looks kind of similar. Didn't get to the middle of the bat, but will produce a boundary for Bashir Ahmed, who breaks the shackle. Four runs of this over. And Ireland, Nepal A, in fact, 38 for four. Powered by DHA. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Tapai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni Surakshit Rapti. Cement Sagar Matha. Yogi Sa. Double Matcha Pack. Pound Horse Double Data. Validity na sa kindai gare ko hari kharid ma. Matra ru ek se pachas de kisiru. Yeah, 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 all good, all good, all good. Uh, Arif Sheikh. In. No, he's all good there, he's all good. At number six. Now we have A lot of work to do. It was exceptional in the T20I series, the T20 series even. Q end of the bat has saved him here. If that hits the pad, it could have been very close. The crowd are trying to rouse Nepal. But I have to say, we've seen some naive batting from both sides today. Absolutely, and this was that boundary, came down the track, was off the toe end again, wasn't out of the middle of the bat. Both Sarki and South, they got a lifeline. In fact, it was one of the easiest catches dropped by a wicketkeeper I'd seen, I've ever seen, by Neil Rock. He would be a very, very relaxed man after Sarki has been dismissed. It was absolute dolly, wasn't it? Really was. Couldn't believe it went down. And then just a few moments later, he made amends. <laughs> this is close. I think this could be gone. It's a shake of the head. And Arif Sheikh, brilliant in the T20s. Can't buy a run in the 50 overs. Humphreys is on fire. Outstanding from the left arm spinner. And Ireland right on top. Nepal in all sorts of trouble. Gordo Pfeiffer, the first match. Already got two wickets. And this one was a big one. The big fish. Adiv Sheikh dismissed. Yes, this was an easy decision for the umpire. Would have gone on to hit the off stump. Missed the line completely there, Adiv. And he is delighted. Why wouldn't someone be? He is in a great, great balling form, Humphreys. Adiv dismissed for not. 38 for 5. Catch the big offer from Dish Home 5 Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, or 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, Matt. Big discount. Sat my free 5G router. Powered by DHA. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. My health and fitness is a healthy food. It's a healthy food. Bihana suit man is kepachi. Eki to the beliki. The sell is sadi miru satma. Nebiko sugar free digestive biscuit. A premium product of Nebiko. Well, look at that. Two left armors at the top of the pile. Shahab Alam of Nepal A, but it's the touring team and Matthew Humphreys that is the star of the show. Do you want him just in front or what? He's bowled nine deliveries today. He's picked up three wickets to go alongside his five wicket haul in the first contest. Eight wickets in just 11.3 overs. Outstanding. From the left arm spinner, he's showing that rich potential of what could be for him at the senior international level. Yeah. Bowling beautifully, and I bet you he wishes he could take this surface all around the world with him. Vinod Bandari, the new man to the crease, he's at number seven. How can Nepal turn this around? The only answer is partnership, Lenny. The toss to win. The field to build one. Beautiful line again. 
For a moment, I thought this was Humphrey's second wicket, but it, it's three wickets for him and only 11 balls. In fact, he got, got his three wickets in the first eight deliveries he bowled. Just came in back really sharply. He played for the turn, but came in with the angle. He's suggesting there was some kind of connection with the bat. Arif there. And a wicket maiden. This by Humphreys. Brilliantly bowled. 11 gone. Nepal 38 for 5. Catch! Catch! The big offer from Dish Home 5 Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps for 300 Mbps. Go here. The subscription map. Big discount. Sat my free 5G router. Namaskar, Mom, Miss Nepal, Ramis DHI, Shricha Pradhan. Wishing you all a happier home. DHI, happier home. Sutta It's a lot of a happy, happy. Valley Cold Store. One of a healthy family. Well, how can Nepal somehow turn this game around? They nearly did it the other day, needing 158 to win, 175 today. You're going to need good contributions, you'd expect, from Bashar Ahmed, who's been promoted up the order. Batted at number six the other day. Today he's up at number five, switched places with Arif Sheikh. And the home fans still believe, but I have to say, they've got themselves into a world of pain here. The other day it was some crazy shots, at least the runs were coming then. Today some excellent bowling from Humphreys, I thought Fiona was brilliant with the new ball. And they've got themselves into a world of pain here. Can they turn it around? Looks pretty difficult from here, Lenny. Also, is it, is it the mindset? Because they were striking runs, they were getting runs at quick time in the T20s and certainly in the 50 overs, they're struggling to, to stay at the crease. Score run, uh, scoring has been difficult. How difficult is it to convert yourself from the T20 format to the longer format? And right now, this is the longest format that Nepal play, that all of the associates play. There is no four-day cricket anymore. Intercontinental Cup is gone. Ireland do play test cricket, but even domestically, they don't have first-class cricket at the moment because it hasn't returned since the pandemic. You can almost see the team talk, can't you, from Guy Nendra Mala and, and Callum Ali the other day. Guys, we don't need to play aggressively. We have 50 overs to bat. Take your time. The problem is today, they've still lost wickets. That's chinned him. I think that's hit him in the helmet. Probably going to be given as a leg by, and I think we should have a mandatory concussion check. Let's wait and see. There will be a mandatory concussion check. Oh, this is the second time that's, that has happened. It was Arjun South who got stuck in the helmet. In the previous occasion, this time it's Bashir Ahmed. They've used the short deliveries to great extent in this innings. It's okay, Bashir Ahmed. The ball actually just kissed his helmet, so it wasn't a major blow. It might have been a little bit of a cutter as well. It almost beat him for a lack of pace. Credit to the Irish team in terms of what they've identified as being Nepal's weakness. They've struggled against the short ball, haven't they? I know Humphreys has come in and, and reaped the damage with those three wickets and two overs, but Hand looked very threatening. McCarthy should have had a wicket if Neil Rock could have held on to that simple catch with the gloves. It really impressed me at the way they've improved throughout this tour. Yes, there's been naive, naive batting on both teams' sides, but... Ireland have adjusted to the conditions better than I maybe expected. What? Unless Nepal A can fight back, it's going to be an unassailable 2-0 lead again in this series. And it looks really difficult for the Nepal A side given the form they're, they're in, especially in the longer format of the game. That is the 50 over format, that's the longest we play. Hasn't been the same kind of flair shown by the Nepali batters, especially in the T20 series. Still be a big believer though, Sachin. If they bat their 50 overs here, if they're close to it, I think they'll still win. Look at the aggression again. 
Not going to be given as a wide as Bandari wants. Good stuff from Mays. Two from his second. 40 for five. Powered by Dieta. Chip Dieta. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. For beauty and health, remember Himalayas care. Tapai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni Surakshit Rapi. Simen Sagar Matha. Yogi Sa. Well, look at those figures from Matthew Humphreys. Three for one, he's got in two overs. Really, really impressed with how he's bowled. He's bowled with great control. He's probably learned from Shahab Alam that on these surfaces, in this format, in the 50 over format, you don't need to do a huge amount. If you keep putting it in the same place, you're going to probe away, test the batters. They did the similar thing, isn't it? Shahab and Humphreys. Shah Balam also bowled really slow. He was fairly successful in Humphreys. He gives the ball a lot of flight. Getting a little too excited this time, Humphreys. A wide delivery and a single taken as well. So two extra runs for Nepal. I think the thing the two standout bowlers have done nicely, actually, the, the left arm spinners. Humphreys and Shahab Alam. They've just varied their pace, haven't they? We saw Shahab Alam do that quite a lot. He wasn't afraid to toss them up, but then also you got quicker ones coming into the surface and getting sharp, sharp turn. That time too short. Bandari gets a big cheer to get off the mark. I'm going to pick up a couple. Family and friends of Bandari up there. Forty-four for five. Nepal A. They're chasing one seventy-five. Last man to go was Adi Sheikh. That was a massive, massive wicket for the Ireland Wolves side. There we go again. A different trajectory to that delivery. Little flatter through the air. Ah, there is Avash Kumara. Who's he found there? Stylish man, isn't he, our co-commentator? Co he is. They come back for the second run. And Avash and me, we had a brief conversation about the hairstyles, different hairstyles. He loves his long hair. And you love your no hair. <laughs> We've got kind of, kind of three different ones, don't we? We've got... Three different styles in the box, don't we? Little, medium, and large. <laughs> when I say little, I mean none, really. I like the Taklu look. I, I'm a big fan, I have to say. Particularly in this weather, do you not feel hot with all that hair in your head, Sachin? It's getting warm. You ask, I'll ask that question, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you think at home? Do you like the Avash look with the ponytail and the, the facial hair, the Tom Cruise sunglasses on? You know, he's actually deceiving everybody with this long, long hair. You know, I've, I've got just perfect, he's no hair. <laughs> and Avash, if he cuts his hair, I think he'll soon become you because he started losing hair from his forehead. <laughs> oh, a bit of a sledge from the box. A brave leave here from Van Dari. I think he's going okay for now. 13 bold, another probing over. 46 for five. Ramauni tarika farak farak wala hai Tara milne khusi tar ustai nahi Dear Chai, happy at home Chutte chai Catch Catch the big offer from Dish Home Fibernet. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps for 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discount. Start my free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Now, one thing Nepal can certainly take some 
confidence from is, is the fact that really the Irish runs came later in their innings as well. It was a 44-run seventh wicket partnership between Neil Rock and Gavin Howey, and then Gavin Howey combined with Liam McCarthy to put on 54. That was for the eighth wicket. So you'd think that really they're going to need two partnerships like that to get them up close to that 175 target. If Bandari and Ahmed could put on 50 plus, the game would look a lot different, wouldn't it? And that's tickled around the corner nicely. Should get a couple, will do. And the crowd cheering every run. The runs have been difficult to come by. That's Sony Gariel, Mrs. Bandari. She supports his cricket. Enjoys coming in, in, the, in the ground and she loves watching her husband bat and she also has a lot of interest in, in other sports as well. And that's very well played because that has bounced steeply and 50 is going to come up. Again, it shows there's different ways to, to play the short ball. You don't have to necessarily hook every delivery. And Bandari of all people, the captain of this side, be desperate to make sure that they show some fight and maybe square the series. And some respite for Nepali fans. Ireland were 50 for 6. So not much of a difference. In fact, Nepal ahead at this situation. Still plenty to do here for this pair. Yeah! An appeal from behind the stumps and it's given. Well, Tom Mays is barely appealed, but the finger goes up. I'm not sure Bashir Ahmed is convinced by it. First slip and the keeper were nothing from Mays and almost tentatively the finger goes up just as a partnership was brewing. Another one goes. Was there an edge? Mays, it was a half-hearted appeal. He was actually encouraged by the keeper and the slip fielder. Went for that appeal immediately. Bashir Ahmed was disappointed, but he did follow the ball after the ball passed back. Eventually, the finger has been raised, and the sixth wicket has fallen for Nepal, 50 for six. Catch! Catch! The big offer from Dish Home 5 Net. Paul was 100 MVPS, 200 MVPS, or 300 MVPS go yearly subscription. My big discounts at my free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Well, would you believe it? Both sides are the exact same score at the exact same time. 13.4 overs bowled in the first innings. The Irish Wolves were 50 for 6. 13.4 overs bowled in the second innings. Nepale 50 for 6. Deja vu. It's a really interesting move. It's not going to be Shahab Alam, who we thought might be promoted up the order. It's not going to be Kamal Singari, but it's going to be Rijan Dakal. We all expected Shahab to come because he was the highest scorer yesterday. He scored 37 important runs and it was a tough time as well. Showed a lot of authority in that innings. Didn't allow the bowlers to get on top of him. Came down the track and smacked one out of the park as well. well it's another wicket taking over, albeit in slightly surreal circumstances. Ahmed, the man who's gone, Mays is his first. 50 for six. Powered by Dieta. Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Topai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni surakshit rabhi. Cement sagar matha. Yogi sa. Double matcha pack. Pound horse double data. Validity na sagi nahi gare ko harik kharid ma. Matra ru ek se pachas de ki suru. Yes, 
Yeah, Humphreys is going to continue. Understandably, Bandari punches him down the ground. See if we can get one more look at this dismissal. You and I didn't hear anything, Sachin. I think he's missed that, but what Bashir did wrong is he just looked back at the keeper after the ball passed the bat. You should never be doing that. That gives an added confidence to the umpire. Don't even really think first slip was convinced either. It was really just Neil Rock that went up with the big appeal. That beats the outside edge. Humphreys right now, he has it on a string. Beautiful bowling. He's got a fiver in the previous match. He's now got three. He's already got three in 3.2 overs. He has plenty of overs left. Can he go for another fiver? Will he be able to get another five wicket haul? Easily defended this time. Come on, boys. Stay good there. I've really been struck by the length ball by Humphreys. He's actually asking the batters to come forward. And then he can generate some extra bounce off the track, some bit of turn as well, and he becomes a very devastating bowler. Yeah, and these really are dream conditions to bowl into. Look at the two slips there, <laughs> asking for the ball to come towards him. PJ Moore at first slip, who took that excellent catch, and Stephen Dahani at second. You almost get shades of Shahab Alam to Fionn Hand here. It feels like a matter of time for Humphreys to Dakal. Nepal have to show some grit. Otherwise, this series will be gone. The Ireland Wolves were in a similar situation. And they managed a partnership of 44 runs. That was between Hoy and the skipper Rock. Skipper Bandari will have to build a partnership with Dakal. <laughs> Side edge onto the pad. That's the only thing that could have saved. In fact, he's given him. Oh dear. Well, I'm not too sure about this one, and Dakal isn't either. I think we've seen Bashir Ahmed be pretty unlucky in the previous over, and I'm not sure Ireland were convinced by this one either. Umpiring has been a bit of a talking point in the T20 series. It sounded like two noises, it looked like two noises. Rijan Dakal says he got some bat on this, did he? Let's get a look. Well, he's hit it, isn't he? Not too sure about that decision, but ultimately it took a long, long time too. It was five or six seconds. This will show you clearly now, I think. Yeah, inside edge onto the bat, onto the pads after the bat. But ultimately, Rijan Dakal's gone. Another wicket falls. He is gone for a duck. It's 51 for seven. Powered by Dieta. Keep the Valley Express. Wow, 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Tapai ko samrashna lai. Juni Juni Surakshit Rakhi. Cement Sagar Matha. Yogi Sa. Double Matcha Pack. Bound Horse Double Data. Validity Nasaki Nai Gareko Harik Kharitma. Matra Ru Ekse Pachas Deki Suru. DHI Happier Home. Tut de sa hai. Ramauni tarika farak farak wala. Tara, milne khusi tar puste nai. DHI Happier Home. Tut de sa hai. Catch the big offer from Dish Home Fiber Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, or 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discounts at my free 5G router. Hey, Tancha Kama, you sungur ko lidi ganon dayne bane? Bajila boysi ko gobar ganon tho? Kya bol se limbu ne? Ka boysi ka sungur? Sungur khol ma, boysi goat ma. Ka unura baje? अब तेरे न सोचिया चिल्लन। पिंग बंग पिंग 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 पंग 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 पंग। गर्मी तो चढ़ चाहे चिल्लन।
खुशी रहना यही गर्न पर्दे बस कामर को गोज बुक में साथ रहे पुछा दिया चा हैपी है हों छुट्टे चाए रिमेम्बर This episode is brought to you by Vertex Special Technologies, a leading digital company of Nepal, specializing in software development, IT consultant management and research. Choose Vertex and So, welcome back after the drinks break in a moment of fortune for Pinat Bandari will get him to double figures just the second batter to get there. Short ball barrage continues from the quicks. Attempted pull from Bandari. The top edge just sails over the head of the keeper in the first slip. And just as Nepal were building something for the sixth wicket, they've lost two. Pretty quickly, they might feel a little bit unlucky to have lost both of them. One given out caught behind, the second one LBW. I don't think either batter will be overly happy. There was a big connection with the bat. It's not that you know the ball just kissed the bat. It was a proper deflection. How can you give that out? Oh no! Reason Dagal was shocked. So was the bowler really. Slow delivery this time, driven beautifully by Binod Bandari. Just wonder, are we going to see a little counter-attack now from Bandari? He's just got three bowlers alongside him, albeit Shahab Alam was the top scorer for his team in the first 50 overs contest. We know Bandari is power, just floated up there, there to be hit, and mid-on is quite wide, Gareth Delaney beats him, gets four. You have to say, actually, if anything, Bashir Ahmad's decision kind of sparked the other one. One sparked two. No! Neither for me were out. There's been a few contentious decisions through the series. the occasions Andrew it was not a massive appeal it was not even a convincing appeal you wonder why umpire raised his finger another slower ball edged and held on to well that's an excellent grab it's the second stunner from PJ Moore I thought Bandari might start to attack and it's a procession of Nepali batters back to the hutch this looks like it could be heading one way and one way only. Irish Wolves could be going 2 0 up in the series. He went after this. He slashed it very hard as well, and a good catch there by the fielder at first slip. Very well held. PJ Moore had no problem plucking that one off the thin air. And Nepal captain has been dismissed 16. He scored off 19 balls. Nepal in deep, deep trouble. 59 for 8. <laughs> Catch the big offer from Dish Home Fiber Net. Pound was 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps for 300 Mbps. Go yearly subscription, my big discount. Sat my free 5G router. Valley Express. Wow. 
50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Well, maybe the last hope for Nepal, Shahab Alam, who top scored in the first contest between these two sides in this format. He made 37 off 34. That was at number nine. Rather bizarrely, he's been demoted down the order to number 10. We'll have to find something miraculous here alongside Kamal Singh Ari. Ireland are all over Nepal here. Two slips in place. Tom Mays with the ball. Very nearly a wicket from the first ball. Have to say, there's been some disappointing batting, hasn't there, from Nepal? Oh he's been there, seen it all, Nandu Dai. This will be as bad as he's seen in terms of a collapse. Just 16 overs have been bowled, and the score is 60 for 8. Catch! The big offer from Dish Home Fiber Net. Bound was 100 MVPS, 200 MVPS for 300 MVPS go yearly subscription. My big discounts at my free 5G router. Powered by DHA. Chutte chai. Tapai ko samrash na lai. Juni Juni Surakshit Rakhi. Simen Sagar Matha. Yogi Sa. Valley Express. Wow. 50% off. Fried chicken every Friday. Valley Express. Crunch your hunger. Matthew Humphreys to continue. Well, nominally there are 34 overs to bat here, Sachin. In theory, the required run rate shouldn't be an issue, but... Nepal have got themselves into all sorts of bother, haven't they? It was a really aggressive approach the other day. They lived by the sword, they died by it. Today it's been a bit limp, a bit tame. And they've somehow found themselves eight down in just 16 overs. Humphreys has picked up his four wickets. And if I were Neil Rock, Lenny, I'd get a silly point in for Shah because he tends to slice the ball, play in that area. Sometimes can play officially as well. Show us the offside field. Show us the offside field. Comes down the track. Easy dismissal this time. He is disappointed with himself and Humphreys has got two five wicket hauls in two matches. What a spell this has been. Well, a calamitous dismissal for Shahab Alam, but let's focus on the bowling. Outstanding back-to-back -back fivers for this man, Matthew Humphreys. Alab has come down the track. He's looked to well, maybe hit it towards long off where he's dismissed the other day. Neil Rock took a little while to take the bails off. Alam, the latest to go. He is stumped for one. Nepal, well, they're all over the place. 60 for nine. Catch the big offer from Dish Home Fiber Net. Bound was 100 MVPS, 200 MVPS for 300 MVPS go yearly subscription. My big discounts at my free 5G router. चार दशक देखे को अनमोल संबंध लाई जतन करने वैली कोलिस्टर बनाऊं चा हेल्दी फैमिली पावर्ड बाय दिए चा छुट्टे चाहे नॉन इफ यू जस्ट ट्यूनिंग इन मे बी यू हैड एन एर्ली फिनिश टू योर वर्क डे जस्ट आफ्टर टू अक्लॉक यू आर ऑल सेट फॉर अ बिग चेस अ सीरीज लेवलिंग चेस डोंट लुक लाइक इट्स गोइंग टू ह Matthew Humphreys, 4.5 overs, 6 for 8, and that delivery, the best of them. Handshakes all around, 11 wickets in the series, stunning bowling. And Nepal A have been bowled all out for 60, a remarkable end to the day, beaten by 114 runs. And again, it's the Irish Wolves that go an unassailable 2-0 up in the series. 
Beautiful delivery to clean himself up. And how many times do you see a team winning the match by 114 runs, scoring only 174 in the first innings? This has been a disastrous batting show by the Nepal side. Bhim Sharkey got to 17, Binod Vandari scored 16 and none of the others managing a score of double figures. So this has been a disastrous batting show by the Nepal A batters. Six wickets, what a performance for him. Humphreys took five uh, in, the, in the previous match, six today, 11 wickets off two, ma uh, two matches, two innings and he did not even bowl his full quota after in the overs today. He's been asked by the captain to lead his side off, rightly so. Career best figures for the left arm spinner who is lighting up the TU ground. Ireland are going to take two beautiful pieces of silverware back home. They have routed Nepal A despite only having 174 on the board. Still don't see this as being a pitch where the two sides could only combine for 230. A rather remarkable end to the day. Ryan Eagleson, a delighted head coach. Ireland have battled through a bit of illness in the camp. Humphreys has been the star of the show, but great credit too to Gavin Howey, Neil Rock in the first innings. They batted really, really nicely to get up to that 174 to give them something to defend. But I think Nepal will have to have a long, long look at their batting approach. Two men in double figures. That was it. They've been beaten out of sight. And only 54 overs bowled today. 38 overs taken by Ireland Wolves to score 174, which we thought was not enough, obviously. And then they were pulled out Nepal for only 60 runs in 16.5 overs. Terrible scorecard this for Nepal A side and their fans. 17 runs for Veeam Sharkey. Was lucky as well. He was dropped once. So was Arjun South. And Vinod Bandari, the skipper, scored 16 of 19. And look at the other scores. 0, 5, 6, 6, 0, 0, 1, 0. You'd not want to look at this scorecard. Four ducks. And nine extras bowled by the Ireland Wolves side. They were very, very disciplined as well with the ball. Well, there's not maybe enough batting highlights to even piece together a package, is there? Because remarkably, there's only eight boundaries hitting the innings. I'm going to look at all eight of them. Arjun Saud and Naran Bata hit one apiece. And then Bim Sharkey hit two fours and a six. But outside of that, there really was very little to cheer. It's a lot of short balls they faced. A real barrage, in fact, a clear tactic from the Irish Wolves. McCarthy not quite as good as the other day. Should have had a wicket in fairness to him. But a poor drop catch from Neil Rock. Bashar Ahmed hit one and then Binad Bandari, Bandari hit two. That was it for Nepal eight. 60 runs is all they could manage. Very bad day with the bat. They did well with the ball. We presumed that 174 was a chaseable score, and it was. There were no real monsters on the track. It's just that the application, is, application was so poor. And the Ireland Wolves came in with a plan. Six wickets for Humphreys, two for Tom Mays. And Fionn Hand got those two wickets to start off the proceedings. It almost looks like a T20 over bowling card. Four overs each for three bowlers and 4.5 for Humphreys. Didn't have to bowl much. And the six wickets taken by Humphreys were off the 29 balls he bowled. Brilliant bowling this. And no partnership whatsoever for the Nepali side. You get a look at a few of the wickets. That was a disastrous start. Great credit to Fionn Hand. I thought he was really good with the new ball. His best spell of the trip. Four overs, two for 14 for him, including that good catch by the subfielder Kate Carmichael who was on because of that illness for James McCollum and then it was all about Humphreys what a catch that was very difficult to hold on to that one it will have been unsighted unskidded on cannoned into the pads real highlights package this then for two moments of controversy I'm not sure Tom Mays thought that was out in a month of Sundays but it was given and then an inside edge onto the pad for Rijan Dakal who was also given out Maybe the one real poor shot of the innings from Binad Bandari before Humphreys wrapped it all up. Poor choice of shot there from Shahab Alam.
And this is how the innings was bundled up. Mausam Dakal had no answer to that beauty from Humphreys, who took six wickets eventually. Hoey scored a 50. That was a very important partnership between Captain Neil Rock and Hoey, and they managed 44 runs, and then again with McCarty. And that those two partnerships took the score to 174, and Nepal were believing that they could chase this just like in the first match, but again, like the first match, they crumbled, and this time, even worse, 60 runs is all they could manage from 16.5 overs, and the top scorers were Bhim Sarki with 17 and 16 for Binod Bandari, and nobody else managed a score of double digit. Yeah, real grim reading, isn't it, for Nepal fans? 60 all out, it means that it's a 2-0 unassailable lead again for the Irish Wolves in the series. We'll just have the final game on Sunday to wrap it all up. Ireland will be looking for a clean sweep in the 50 overs. That's going to wrap up the coverage from in the commentary box. We'll be back with a post-match presentation. We'll have three awards to give out and we'll hear from both captains. Binod Bandari's interview could make for interesting listening. We'll be back with that in a few moments before Sunday's game at 9.30. Do stay with us. We'll see you very shortly. Top eight for the catch gun host. This show on Fiber Net go catch the big offer. Free 5G router gasat pound host. 100 Mbps bar sick 7500 by smart. 200 Mbps bar sick 7700 for 300 Mbps bar sick no hazard no zip bar Catch the big offer now. <laughs> खुशी रहा ना कहीं गर्न पड़ रहे बस कैमर को पोस बुक में साथ बैठ पक्षा दिए जा हैप्पी है हम छुट्टे साई पहली कोलिस्टोन नेपाल को एक अग्रगामी कुखरा को मासू प्रसोदन केंद्र तपाइले भने को जस्तो तैयारी रॉ मीट प्री कुक्ड र फ्रोजन चिकन आइटम हरु फ्रेश हाइजेनिक र बेस्ट क्वालिटी मा पाउन सकनुहुने छ चार दशक देखि को अनमोल सम्बन्ध लाई जतन गर्दै भ्याली कोल्ड स्टोर बनाउँछ हेल्दी फ्यामिली नया अध्याय नया जिम्मेवारी नया गन्तव्यलाई आत्मसात गर्दै अटल भई अघि बढ्दै लक्ष्यतर्फ लम्कनी अडिग अठोट एउटै छ उच्च सोच एउटै छ आजको मजबूत निर्माणले भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगरमाथा एउटै छ तपाईको संरचनालाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राख्ने सिमेन्ट सगरमाथा एउटै छ For beauty and health remember Himalayas care मेरो हेल्थ अनि फिटनेस को रहस्य हेल्दी खाना खानु एकदमै जरुरी छ बिहान सुटमा निस्केपछि एकैचोटी बेलुकी त्यसैले सधैं मेरो साथमा नेबीको सुगर फ्री डाइजेस्टिव बिस्किट अ प्रिमियम प्रोडक्ट अफ नेबीको पिलेस मलाई बहाने गर्दै के सारा आसे बाबु तिमीले बोक्न नसक्ने गरी छाती भरे माया लेदेको छ तेरो छाती भरिको मायाले मात्र पेट भरिन्छ खुशी पाने रे बर्सा यही तो खास संबंध को मिठास डियर चाय हैप्पी है हम छुट्टे साई वैली एक्सप्रेस वाव 50 परसेंट ऑफ फ्राइड चिकन एवरी फ्राइडे वैली एक्सप्रेस क्रंच योर हंगर तपाईं को समरचनालाई जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखी सिमेंट सगर माथा योगी सा पहला यो 
নহরিওয়াল হয় না কোকোনাট কোকোনাট নেভি কোকোনাট মানে সাথে খানে বিস্কুট जमेंट <laughs> Choose Vertex and ensure your company's tech success. Catch it! Aba, to pay for the catch gun host. This show on Fibernet go catch the big offer. Free 5G router ka saath phone host 100 Mbps basic 7522 ma. 200 Mbps basic 7788 pro 300 Mbps basic 9912 ma. Catch the big offer now. Char dashak dekheko anmol sambandh lai jatan garnai Valley Coal Store. Banaucha healthy family. हमारे तरीका फरक फरक हो रहा है मिलने खुशी तो पुस्ते ही नहीं जी अब तैचनेट को कैच द बिग अफर फ्री फाइव जी राउटर का साथ पाउन होस्ट हंड्रेड एमबीपीएस बासिक सात हजार पाँच सौ बाईस मार्च टू हंड्रेड एमबीपीएस बासिक सात हजार सात सौ अठासी थ्री हंड्रेड एमबीपीएस बासिक नौ हजार नौ सौ बारह मार कैच द बिग अफर नाउ अब तपाई पनि क्याच गर्नुहोस् डेस्टोम फाइबरनेट को क्याच द बिग अफर फ्री 5G राउटर का साथ पाउनुहोस् 100 Mbps बासिक 7522 मा 200 Mbps बासिक 7788 प्रो 300 Mbps बासिक 9912 मा क्याच द बिग अफर नाउ खुशी रहना यही कर पर्द बस काम को बोझ बोक्ने साथी भाई पुग्स डीएचआर हैप्पी हो छुट्टे साई वाली कोल्ड स्टोर नेपाल को एक अग्रगामी कुखुरा को मसु प्रशोधन केन्द्र तैयले जस्तु तैयारी रीट प्री कुक्ड र फ्रोजन चिकन आइटम फ्रेश हाइजेनिक र बेस्ट क्वालिटी में पा सकूने चार दशक देखे अनमोल संबंध लतन करते वाली कोल्ड स्टोर बना हेल्दी फैमिली नया अध्याय नया जिम्मेवारी नया गंतव्य आत्मसात करते अटल भई अगि बढ़ते लक्ष्य तर्फ लमकनी अडिग अठोर एवट उच्च सोच एवट आज को मजबूत निर्माण ने भविष्य सुनिश्चित करने सगरमाथा एवट तरचना जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखने सीमेंट सगरमाथा एवट For beauty and health, remember Himalayas Care. मेरे हेल्थ अनि फिटनेस को राशिया हेल्दी खाना खानु एक दम ही जरूरी था. बिहाना सूट में निस्के पची एक ही चुटी बेल की तेसे ले सदै मेरे साथ मा नेबी को शुगर फ्री डाइजेस्टिव बिस्किट. A premium product of नेबी को. ये लेगी स्मॉल. बहाने वाले की सारा राशि बाबू. तेरे बुक में ना सकने वाले छाती बड़े माय ले देंगे. तेरे छाती 
खुशी बाणेर बढ़ यही तो खास संबंध को मिठास डीएचआई छुट्टी वाली एक्सप्रेस वाव फिफ्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ फ्राइड चिकन एवरी फ्राइडे वाली एक्सप्रेस क्रंच यो हंगर तपाई को संरचना लाई, जुनी जुनी सुरक्षित राखी, सिमेंट सगर माथा, योगी सा। पहला यो, नारियल, नहीं ना, कोकोनट। हम्म, कोकोनट, नेवी को कोकोनट, मैं इस आधे खाने बिस्कुट। हम्म, ताज़ा ताज़ा रिचा कोकोनट। स्वस्थ कर पानी चाहे उसको वो ना मिल दो जुल्दो पैकेट संगा जुकी नो हला खाना खेल संदई नेबी को कोकोनट नहीं रोत नो हला नेबी को हेल्दी फूड हेल्दी मूड दिस एपिसोड इस ब्रोट टू यू बाय वर्टेक स्पेशल टेक्नोलॉजीज अ लीडिंग डिजन कंपनी ऑफ नेपाल स्पेशलाइजिंग इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट आईटी सिस्टम तो पाइल पुरी कैच कर होस डिस्ट्रोम फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड होस 100 एमबीपीएस बार सिक 7,522 मार्च 200 एमबीपीएस बार सिक 7,788 और 300 एमबीपीएस बार सिक 9,912 मार्च कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ चार दशक देखे को अनमोल संबंध लाई जतन कर लाई पहली कोलिस्टर बनाऊं चा हेल्दी फैमिली हमारी तरीका फरक फरक होना है, पर मिलने को सिर्फ उस दिन ही। डियर चाय, हैप्पी होम, छुट्टे चाय। This episode is brought to you by Vertex Special Technologies. Gadget! अब तो पाइप पर ही कैच कर रहे हो। डिस्ट्रोम फाइबरनेट को कैच द बिग ऑफर फ्री 5G राउटर के साथ पाउंड होस 100 एमबीपीएस बार सिक 7,522 मार्च 200 एमबीपीएस बार सिक 7,788 और 300 एमबीपीएस बार सिक 9,912 मार्च कैच द बिग ऑफर नाउ ओके पोस्ट मैच प्रेजेंटेशन टाइम फॉर द पेनल्टीमेट गेम ऑफ द टूर हियर द डिश होम Fibernet Ireland Wolves tour of Nepal. We've seen a low-scoring game again. Surprisingly, the Irish Wolves defended their total of 174 to win by a big 114 runs and take an unassailable 2-0 lead in the series. Great credit to them. We've got three awards to give out, and we'll also hear from both captains. We'll start with our first award. It's the Degree Malia Striker of the Match. It's going to be presented by Mr. Jagat Tamata, who's going to come up and join me on stage, the Nepal Under-19 head coach. You did such a brilliant job with his team down in South Africa. Jagat, namaste, nice namaste. to see you. How are you, brother? Okay, plenty of contenders today, mainly from the Irish team. Good innings from Liam McCarthy and also Gavin Howey. But the degree Malia striker of the match hit 45 off just 38. Three fours and three sixes. It goes to the Irish Ireland Wolves captain, Neil Rock. So Neil will receive his cheque for 7,500 rupees and pose for a photo as the degree Malia striker of the match. Thank you so much, gents. Okay, time now for the Manzara most valuable player of the match. They're also going to receive a cheque for 7,500 rupees. And Mr. Arjun Pedal is up next to me, the CAN board member and CAN tournament director as well. Thanks to him and his team for all their work so far. Well, it was a really important innings all the way down at number eight. The MVP of the day today, he made 50 off 59. It goes to Gavin Hoey. So Gavin will receive his cheque for 7,500 rupees from Arjun Powell. A really important innings from the Leinster Lightning all-rounder. Thank you, gents. 
Okay, time to speak to both captains. We'll start with the captain of Nepal, Binod Bandari. Binod, firstly, hard luck today. A uh, very heavy defeat, that. I have to start with the batting. 60 all out, uh, not good enough. Batting is a sati when you go to batting like the winner. I'm rowing about your batsman or Guzimi values away. Only two batters made, made double figures. There was some good bowling, certainly from Ireland, but where do you feel that things went wrong for your batters? And Nepal go home condition of any of the spinner leg out of Paras and Nepal live and it was that you all got the serious curane in a kid when it was home condition much about the Kelness of Nobody or Batsman or Lizzie. They should know those home conditions better. What about the bowling? You were really pleased with the position 50 for 6. That was a wonderful start that you had. Do you feel they got away from you a little bit to post 174? Or were you happy with 174 as their total? I know 174 is a good score. I know. Our team won because Ramro Khelna na ida ho. Ina kine abo partnership unsa 20 ma 50 over game or long format ko games. Ati elgar dasani partnership sahi unsa. Abo 174 sahi abo aur din pani kosar din din sa mani. Sahi itiga layer chase gan sa gini chase mani. Yeah, it looked like a total you you could chase. What about in terms of how how you turn it around? What learnings will you take from today? How will you approach the third and final match differently? I know games sahi abo. Binod, hard luck today. Thanks for talking to me. Okay, Dandavad to Binod Bandari, the captain of the Nepal A side. Time now to speak to the winning captain. It's Neil Rock of the Ireland Wolves. Neil, you must be absolutely ecstatic. You've come out here to Nepal for the first time and you're going to take both pieces of silverware against the Nepal A side home. 2 nil up in the series, an unassailable lead. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, this morning I thought we might be out of here by lunch. Um, it was a good task to lose. Thankfully, uh, even, I even thought 170 was under par. I don't think, I think the wick was still pretty good. Um, and I thought the way Gav batted for someone who hasn't played a lot at this level was fantastic really was a stunning innings and that partnership firstly with you and then a really good contribution too from Liam McCarthy got you up to, I agree with you, what felt like a subpar total. How well did, did Liam and both Gavin play? Yeah, just the calmness they showed. Um, to be honest, when it gets to that stage and you're batting it almost comes a little bit easier because the expectations is, are off you. Um, but the calmness they showed and, and the partnership they put on got us up to a defendable score but we we're certainly still under par. Uh, on the negative side, certainly the top order continues to have some problems. You're 50 for 6 today and all sorts of trouble. Can you put your finger on why that is? No, I'm not sure. To be honest, uh, some fantastic players at the top of the order. Just a few of them short of runs, which happens. It's cricket, you know. Um, but I thought the fight the guys showed through the middle there uh, to get us up to that total was great. What about the fast bowlers? Fionn Hand, I think for me, bowled his best spell of the tour. He was really aggressive and fiery at the top. Tom Mays, too, was really impressive. They shared four wickets between them. Yeah, and Matthew will get all the applause, and rightly so, but I thought the way Fionn and Liam set the tone was, was great. Uh, it's definitely the best we've been in the field, uh, bar me shelling one, obviously. But the way they set the tone um, really got us going, and I said to the guys going out there, just try create a bit of panic and see what happens from there, and thankfully we did. Okay, what about Matthew Humphreys? Two games in the 50-over format, 11 wickets in those two appearances. He looks like he's got it on a string at the moment, and he's varying his pace nicely. He's causing problems who, who would be very used to playing spin here at this ground. Yeah, absolutely, I say he has it on a string. You know, I've played a lot with him the last few years and he's always taken wickets, but the control he's added to its game um, has really shown. And I think to back up to today was, was the most impressive thing. And he just kept it really simple and was relentless with, with bowling his best ball and he got his rewards. It's a Friday night, you're tuning up in the series. Any quiet celebrations tonight? Um, potentially, potentially. Very well played, congratulations. Okay, Neil Rock, a delighted Ireland Wolves captain. We've just got one more award to give away. It's the big one. It's for the Valley Express Player of the Match. I'd like to ask Ms. Pratima Canal, the director of Valley Express, to come up and join me. Pratima is going to give out the check for 10,000 rupees. Namaste, Pratima. And plenty of contenders, but really it was a one-man show again, wasn't it, for the Irish Wolves? He's taken 11 wickets in two games. Today his figures, well, they're extraordinary. Career best, in fact, 4.5 overs, one maiden, six wickets for eight runs. The player of the match again, it's Matthew Humphreys.
And Matthew is not just going to get that check for 10,000 rupees, but also I'd like to call upon Mr. Roshan Kumar Singh, the Vice President of the Cricket Association of Nepal, and also a board member of the Cricket Association of Nepal, to bring the Player of the Match trophy up onto stage and also present that again. One more round of applause, please. The Player of the Match, Matthew Humphreys. Matthew, stay there, mate. Many congratulations. What's that you've got in your pocket? Is that the match ball, by any chance? Of course it is. I'll be using it at club training next week. How much have you enjoyed bowling here? The, these wickets, well, they've really suited you. Yeah, I'd roll them up and take them home with me if I could. Um, we'll be going back to the start of the season here in Ireland. I don't think we'll see any spin like that. What about your career trajectory? You, you, you were debuted and capped at a very young age, a tender age at senior level. Do you feel that came a bit too soon or, or is this really just a, a sign of the part of your journey? You're in such good form with the ball. Now you're certainly going to be pressing the selectors' minds. Yeah, no, I, th I think like you can never say a bad thing about when you make your debut. Um, I think it was certainly a big wake-up call for me. Um, and the last sort of 12 months have been a lot of hard work, especially with Chris Brown um, and JCD at home, and it's just great to get the rewards. Yeah, nice to, f to give a shout out to both Chris Brown and James Cameron Day. They, they seem to really be developing the Irish spinners in a way that historically not have been there. You've got a great crop about you, Gavin Hoey, Gareth Delaney, Ben White yourself. You all seem to be great, sort of great comrades too. Are you spurring each other on? You're improving each other's games? Yeah, I mean, we spend a lot of time in North County together, um, bowling, but yeah, you know, the, the expertise that Brownie's brought um, to us has been amazing. Um, just drilling us hard, not letting us get away with um, training, like, under what you'd want, like, the level you'd want to be at, and, um, like, his, his advice on how to control the game and stuff like that's been brilliant, yeah. I know you'll get the headlines, and rightly so, but your seam bowling colleagues did a brilliant job. Fionn Hand with that new ball today was exceptional. Yeah, no, I think I've said it before, but the opening uh, bats for Nepal are, are pro proper players. Um, so taking those, those wickets early on makes it so much easier than for us coming on in the middle. 2 0 up in the series, two player of the match awards, match ball in your pocket. Many congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Matthew Humphreys of Valley Express, player of the match that's also going to wrap up our coverage for the day. It's a bit earlier than intended. Ireland are 2-0 up in the series. They will definitely take the silverware. Can they take a 3-0 series clean sweep? You'll find out with us in just a couple of days' time, the final game of this Dish on Fibernet. Ireland Wolves Tour of Nepal, 9.30 a.m. local time. Hopefully get a good crowd to round things out. Remember, you can download that Dish Home Go app as well and enjoy all the action then. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you again on Sunday.